We don't need magic to cast our minds back to the so-called good old days. Old theatre bills and programmes can conjure up so many a romantic memory. But even young people who love show business can get a lot of pleasure from souvenirs like that. In fact, this is the hobby of actor Donald Sindon, who, at his home in northwest London, spends every spare moment exploring and recapturing theatrical history. In his study, practically everything has some association with the theatre. The great Fred Terry died against this 18th century sideboard, lying in the shadow of great artists like Edmund Keane, and Mrs. Sarah Siddons. Relics like these arm amulets, which belonged to Edmund Keane's son Charles, and the ornate chain worn by Henry Irving as Louis XI nearly a hundred years ago, keep Donald busy enough. And at times like this, you'll notice how Mrs. Sindon keeps out of the way. Not everything has to do with the past. Pride of place on the mantelpiece goes to the silver statuette presented to him by the Variety Club. However, the accent is on the theatre of yesterday, and little souvenirs that might be comparatively worthless are treasured by Donald Sindon. This hat, for example, worn at the moment by nine-year-old Jeremy Sindon, was used by Sir John Martin Harvey in the play The Only Way, the original dramatisation of A Tale of Two Cities. one of the boots worn by Henry Irving in Macbeth. For a man who became a box office draw through his flair for light comedy, Donald Sindon certainly has a serious hobby. But although he doesn't look much like a curator, he's got a museum of which anyone could be proud.